<laughs> Yo, look what I have, guys. I think this is legit the first time I ever unboxed something and removed my address. Oh, but I still forgot a knife. Today I felt like going for a bread knife. Woo! <laughs> oh, that looks beautiful. Wow. So this video is just gonna be about these two fellas right here. The two new GAN cubes, but let's just quickly see what's in the box. Happy birthday to the cubicle. So these are a bunch of prototype yo cubes. Yes. What is this thing? Holy... So for those guys who do not know, DNM37 is a cubicle labs loop, which is loved by so many people because it's probably the best loop to speed up your cubes. And <laughs> for a second, I thought they would just like fill up the whole bottle with DNM37, which would be super funny. But, but anyways, this is probably even more exciting. We have the GAN 12M Leap and we have the GAN 12 Maglev. Ooh, these are exciting times, right? These boxes probably cost more than the RS3M. I'm like, I'm, I'm like not even kidding. This bad boy right here, $78. What? How can you ask $78 for a speed cube? I don't know. But what I'm gonna do today is just spend a full day with both these cubes. We're gonna have a lovely time together. I'm gonna do a bunch of souls. I'm gonna set them up. I'm gonna unbox them. I'm gonna have a lovely dinner with them as well. So how was your day? Well, maybe that's a bit too much. But anyways, let's just start off by unboxing these beautiful, beautiful boxes. Are you guys ready? Ooh, nice. I mean, I always wanted to have a credit card, so... Now it's even easier to buy some GAN cubes. <laughs> Let's first take a look at the GAN 12M Leap. It is a cheaper version of the two, but they're pretty much identical. I will get into the differences in a second. Let's just do some first turns. Ooh, this is exciting. Are you guys ready? I don't know if I'm ready. What PLL am I gonna do, guys? I don't know. We started with two cheap burns, but they felt really, really good. Let's not form any conclusions after turning this puzzle for 10 seconds. Let's see what's in the box instead. Back. The same old GAN algorithm. Why haven't they updated this yet? This just, what GAN cube is this even? I don't know why they don't update it, but this is different. So spoiler, there's a new tensioning system, but we'll, we'll, we'll take a better look at that in a second. Cause we'll probably have to use this little thing for that. Onto the maglev version. Woo, another credit card. I'm pretty sure there's like the same things in this box. But the cube is a bit different. Oh yeah, you can see it. This cube has like the UV coating. That's like one difference. The other difference is on the inside. It is the new maglev technology, which kind of replaces a spring by using opposite magnets. But we'll take a better look at that in a second. The, the cube feels different. Yeah, 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 100% this cube feels faster out of the box. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? The way they are set up right now, I actually prefer the Leap version. But let's actually take a better look at the pieces and everything and find out why these cubes are so hella expensive. So on the left, we have the GAN 12 Maglev and on the right, we have the GAN 11M Pro, last year's flagship. On the outside, they look identical. I mean, they're beautiful, but you're not gonna be able to flex at the competition like, oh, this is my GAN 12 Maglev because no one will know the difference just by looking at the outside. However, maybe if we take them apart, you will notice a difference. Cube tear down. Uh, the edge pieces look identical to me. Hopefully the corners are something different. Ooh, that's one big magnet. Who needs such a big magnet? Damn. Oh yeah, there's now some holes in the pieces as well. So what you see right here is the first difference and GAN calls it the leap system or something like that. Because the core magnets are closer to the center, 
there's a longer angle in which there's gonna be a magnetic pull. But why would you need that? Well, let me show you. So here's both cubes with the white face aligned in the same angle. And see what happens when I do this. Nothing. Bloop. You do notice a big difference if you just have a play with it, but... Is it gonna be beneficial in souls? Well, I guess we'll need to find out. For the second difference, we'll have to take a look inside the cube. I show you maglev. The way it works is that it replaces a spring by using two opposite magnets that repulse each other. For comparison, here you can see last year's tensioning system of the GAN 11M Pro, which of course still uses springs. Oh no, I made a mess. So by taking both cubes apart, we now know the three main differences between this year's flagship cube and last year's flagship cube. We have the leap system, we have the option for maglev, and there's a new adjustment system. Now, the adjustment system is kind of an important topic when you spend more than 70 bucks on a speed cube. So we're gonna take a better look at that on my working desk. Table, working table, crafting table, whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna do it there, guys. Things went horribly wrong at the crafting table, so I had to go back. I just wasted almost two hours of my life trying to figure something out that seems to not be working. I will show you what it is in just a minute. The good news is I now know everything about the adjustment system, so let me show you everything you need to know. Let's start off talking about the center travel. Now, the center travel influences like the corner cutting and how easily your cube pops. Step one, take off the center cap. Okay. <laughs> Step two, you have this tool. Do this with it. It needs to snap in place. For the center travel, we're using this side of the tool, okay? You put it on top of the blue part. Do not push it down. If you push it down, the whole thing will come off. This is very important, guys. Then you will turn clockwise. Okay, okay, pretty easy. There's like a small indicator showing which level you are at. The lower the number, the tighter the cube. Doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. Okay, next thing, the tensioning, which is basically just how tight the cube feels. So you take the other part of the tool, put it over the teeth, turn it clockwise. So as you turn, the cube becomes tighter, but there's only six levels. So after the sixth level, it will snap back to the first level. So the Magla version, which I have right here, works exactly the same, but there's an issue with my tool. It's like so weird, but once I push too hard, like, I cannot grab the teeth and the whole thing comes apart. It's like, what's wrong with my tool? I've been messing with this for so long, guys. So the way I have to do it right now is take off the top part, adjust the tensioning first, like so, and then place the top part in again, and then I can adjust the travel distance. So it's like really annoying for me, but I've been messaging with the cubicle and your tool shouldn't have any problems with that. Okay, so lastly, the magnets. You can change the stems by twisting it, taking it out and inserting a different stem. The magnet stems with the hexagon supposed to be stronger. And you can also still adjust the magnet strength using this lever right here. So to summarize, the new tensioning system, the small changes in the hardware and the new magnets apply to both cubes. But the maglev and UV coating are exclusive to the maglev version. Alright, so we just covered all the new features of the new GAN puzzles. It's now time to do some souls. The way I did this session was by doing 25 souls with each cube unlooped and 25 souls on each cube after looping it. My first solve was pretty decent, but the rest kind of... I just noticed how unused I was to the extremely light weight of the cube. And I didn't like the weight one bit. I mean, it feels like it makes catching easier because the force you apply for a turn is so low that all the small catches feel more significant, perhaps? I don't know. But aside from that, the 12M leap feels very similar to the 11. Except that I found the 12 to be more round feeling, meaning less blocky, might have something to do with the new magnets, but I like that. So by now I have looped the cube and oh boy, did that make a difference. I used the same loop as the Yo cube, weight five, angst from Dignitas, Mystic and DNM. And first of all, the cube was so much more silent and smooth and soft. I mean, just listen to it. I got better times as well. So yeah, I love it this way perhaps even more than the 11M Pro. So yeah, my first impression is that if you wanna buy the 12M Leap and you're not sure if you're gonna like the extremely fast and light cube, adding some resistance by using loops will definitely help a ton. 
Moving on to the 12th Maglev. Did I mention that I found the 12th M Leap to be too fast? Well, the Maglev is even faster. I mean, it's kind of impossible for me to control the cube. So what I actually had to do was setting the cube to the tightest setting. But doing that made the cube feel kind of weird. So, so I definitely haven't figured out my perfect setup for this cube. And aside from that, the cube performed really similar to the non Maglev version. By now I have looped the cube, which made it a bit better, but my preference still goes to the 12M leap. So I guess it's time now to talk about the elephant in the room for a second. The price is insane. Yes, the features are awesome and perhaps adding everything up. The new core magnets, the improved adjustment system, the UV coating, Maglev. I mean, if you add all of that up, the cube is probably worth the price. It's quite an insane puzzle. But if you look at what's out there right now, it becomes really difficult for GAN to justify such a high price. My main cube, the WRM2021, doesn't have any of these features and I perform better on that cube than anything out there. So I guess it's up to us now whether GAN will increase next year's cube even more, maybe even matching the iPhone prices. I mean, think about it. For one GAN 12M Maglev, you can buy two Yo cubes and everybody loves the Yo cube. It's totally up to you. The cubes are insane, but be responsible with your money. And one way to do that is to use discount code CUPAT on the cubecall.com for a huge discount. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. And I see you in the next video. Ciao, guys.